Set Field Label. After Table Initialize the Wind. The Set Field Label function is part of the Labels and Titles API. Many other functions are available and I highly suggest checking them out. Also, note that this API can be used in After Application Initialized, After Table Initialized and Before Process Events. Here I have a simple project with a product table. At the page designer you can see and set the field labels for its field. Although the labels are set over here, I want to be able to change the labels to something else when a certain condition is true. Now going to the event page, I select after table initialized event of the products table. The entire query of the table you are working with is to be found under the description section of the event. Also, Note that a variable called dollar $table is already set with the table name. First, I want to identify the current user. I do this with the security API using the current user data function. This will return an array of the entire user record. In this case, the array is called dollar signed on the data and you can call it whatever you like. I can now retrieve any field from the array like this. I now test to see if id equals 2. If the condition is true, I will change the labels. I type labels, set field labels, the function needs a few parameters, of which the table name is first. I use the dollar $table variable that is already set with the correct table name. Next is the field name as it appears in the table. Then the new field label. There is also a language parameter that carries the language of the field label. If you don't specify this parameter, then the current language is used. In my case, English. I also want to change the product code field label to PR code for this user only. Okay, let's see how it works. First, I log in as user ID1. Since this is not user ID 2, the label stayed unchanged. Now I am signing on with the user where the ID is 2. The labels are now changed as expected. Ok, that's it for this quick tip tutorial. Would you like to see more of these quick short tutorials or do you prefer longer tutorials? I plan to do both. Please let me know in the comments below. Till next time.